not suitable for kids. Suffer and Well, we'll just start by playing Doki Doki Luffy. You agree that you are at least eight, thirteen years or of age? Well, I will. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, technically, either tomorrow or today's my birthday, and I will be thirteen. So, sure, let's play. Dean Zalvato. This game is not so for kids who are easily disturbed. Okay. Okay, this looks like a dating simulator or something. <laughs> I heard this was a... I think it was like some horror game or something. This looks really cute, actually. Alright, let's start a new game. Hmm. Please enter my name. Go call me Great... Oh my goodness, this is gonna be- Hey! I see an annoying girl. Oh, so I shouldn't went. Hey! Uh, and girl, say hi. My neighbor and good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. Okay. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we should o she would oversleep more and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting. But if she's gonna go into chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk, but let's say you already catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but maybe, but only because I decided to stop and win for you. If you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me, that's me, Great Western. Well, yeah, you're right. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But, you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it or in you to be mean if you want to. Okay, I'm just gonna speak normal voice. I don't want to speak like a girl voice. What? Save screenshot. Okay. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students who make their daily commute. Out of way, Great Western. Have you have you decided on a club to join yet? A uh, club? I told you already. I'm really not interested. I've been, I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she goes going on about. Me too. Theory's, theory likes to worry a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly content just being on my average while spending Okay, maybe not anime, but uh, games, yeah. Uh huh. I was talking about how I was. Mean, yeah. Happiness is really important to me, you know. And you, and I know you're happy now, but I die of that thought of you becoming a niece in a few years. But you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll work for a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you will try to look? Yeah, I guess I promised you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by a carefree, car carefree girl? Can't read. I don't... You know, I'm not a big subtitle reader, so I don't... So it's hard for me to pronounce my words. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. To be honest, I say what I like to say. I mean, I she looks pretty nice to me. I guess seeing her worry 
so much. Thanks about me. Alright, let's just get to the pool. Oh, school day was an ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stared blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Okay, let's go to the YouTube club. How about that? Or Minecraft, that is. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Say Sayori? Sayori must have come into the class while I was facing out. If you look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up to you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and facing out, so I came in. Honest, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to keep you away from your own club. Well, I thought of you might need a couple of encouragements, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, that you can come to my club. Sayori, yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Oh, so we're gonna go, so, so who's the actual president? I assume it's Monica from the Friday Night Funkin' Mart or whatever. If that's what people are telling me. Not that I ever aware that she has an interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she earned the title of Vice President. It has to be one of the girls as the president. I assume it's the one with the white bow. Or Monica, if you know what I mean. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why don't you. Why don't you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. That Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> don't don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned out all of this out. I let a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! <laughs> Sayori's got I don't know, Sayori's not my favorite. Sayori might be my DDLC favorite character, I don't know. She I, I dejectedly followed Yes, yeah, Sayori across the school and upstairs section at the school I rarely visit me generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings up at the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I I actually want to join. Eh? I glanced around the world. Girl one. Welcome to Welcome to your literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'm just gonna give her that. Okay. So you're so you're always saying nice things about you. <laughs> okay, it's like you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Huh, great, great western. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All worth escaping in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Sip. Yep, I'm officially sip now. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. <sighs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I didn't I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who makes cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her. When she's 
kids movie, they already says that quiet in my ear, and turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the cloud. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears calm. I don't know how to say that. More maturely intimidated, she seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, nice to meet you both. Oh, oh, oh no, wait, that I thought it was Yuri for a meeting. And it sounds like you already know Maka. Is that right? That is right. That's right. It's good to see you again, Grace Weston. Maka seems sweet. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my lane. So, having her smile at me so generally feels like a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Gay Weston. We make room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me and we want to. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey! I was... I made them, I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. That's... Dude, that Suki's just an asshole. Well, not... Not technically one, but she's just acting like one. I don't even know. Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Let's just say she's mean. How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's between widening so that there is one space next to Monica and one space to next to Sayori. Whew! Alright, let's see how this goes. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a rant and Yuri opens, opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I sent, take my seat next to Sayori. Natsuki pro proudly marches back to the table and tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Tada! Whoa. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and a little piece of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Suki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So Yori grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious. So Yori talks with her mouth full. And has already mentioned to get icing in her face. I turn the cupcake around in my in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki was quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing was sweet, full of flavor. That's what she said. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What, what? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I made them for you or anything. Hey? I thought you were technically dead. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, no. You know, you, dummy. Whoa, chill, man. We were just having a good time. Oh, oh. Wait, I can skip. I give, I give, um, these weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Hold on, so we can skip, like, half of them? Oh, let's go auto. After a hot cup of tea, enjoying a good book. I mean, yeah. 
Whoa! Um, go back. No, return. After all, after all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy good thinking? Book? I can't. I, uh, uh, I guess. <laughs> but don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress me. Insulted, you are looks away. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least, but at least enjoy tea. I, yeah, I really don't drink tea, to be honest. It doesn't taste good for me. Yuri faintly smiles to take herself a relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So. Thanks, you are considered the literature club. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet. And you're in seats really happy here, so... Oh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make club fun and exciting for everyone. That's like saying, that's like saying Skyrim is E for everyone, but it's really not. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Okay, so it is her. Okay. You could probably be a board member of any of our mature clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the main club. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public disease and how to prepare your events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I fulfill that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the efforts into starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Whew. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Oh, so there's a festival going on. That's really cool. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Wait, so... What, am I a senior or something? Right, everyone? Yeah! Ooh, the best. Yeah, you know it. Everyone enthusiastically agree. Such as different girls, I am all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. That I still don't know really know. I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm of, about literature. So, great question. What kinds of things do you like to read? Well, I... Uh, how little I read the past few years, I don't really know half a good day of answering that. Or oh, wait, uh, manga. That's a lie. I don't even read that. <laughs> I I I get that. I get it was a joke. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like 
she wants to say something, and she kept quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What are you saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rims of her teacup with her fingers. I think my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. It's telling a good story. Such a foreign world is especially impressive. Yuri goes on to play, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid, and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfortable in the world of books, not people. I you know. I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yeah, like horror or something? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. And let me tell you, I've been watching a lot of horror recently, but you don't see me bragging, do you? Heh. <laughs> ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something that could relate to my minimal. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I don't know, is she living under one? Because I'm gonna be watching one on my birthday. Or today, if it is my birthday. I don't know. I don't know when I'll be uploading. For some, for someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if it's, but if a story makes you think of something or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror, no, surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Suki's on and start over to me for a split second. No, no, never mind. That's right. You usually like to read about cute things, don't you, Nizuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last calls meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it alone! You give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> Your cupcakes and poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Yuri sidles up behind Mitsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Mitsuki, you, you write your own poems? Well, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. Natsuki averts aver her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Aw, not a very confident writer yet. Uh, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of brightness takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers. Exposing your vulnerabilities and showing and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have running experience too, Yuri? Maybe, maybe if you share some of your words, you can set an example of helping that took you feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, 
I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all stood in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. That's hmm? Yuki and Yuri, quizzically, <laughs> and <laughs> what quizzic quizzically, uh, Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. I, um... Yeah, let's do it! But now we have a new member. I think it will help us all get a little com more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that a bro- Isn't that right, Blue Lesson? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's one problem. What was that? that? Now that we're back to the original topic of you joining the club, I bluntly come, come forth with the what's been on my mind in this time of time. I never said I would join the club. They so already have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. <laughs> even at Suki. Look, she's just even angrier that I said that. Yeah, sorry. No, I don't know. But, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you all... Uh, I, the, the thing was against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head? The, this issue when it's like this. That is, if, I, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the Lotus Club. Wait! Wait! I just tied my dialogue! What? Okay, watch. I found out you can just hide the dialogue with the right click. It's really cool. I'll turn the lurch club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. They always wrap their arms around me, jumping up and down. But hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you're really just came for a cupcake, I'd be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring about the next meeting to all share. I'll go look over at me once more. Great lesson. I look forward to seeing how you impress yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really press the plus star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? Hey, I'm not bad. I'm not bad at writing. What are you talking about? I already felt the anxiety, feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Green Western, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. That's right. Yuri and I never walk home together anymore, because she's always staying after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us support the classroom and make our way home. The whole day, the lines wanders back and forth between the four girls, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school with the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I don't know. Sayori is like my favorite out of all of them. I'll just need to make the most of those circumstances. circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. What's it? It's time to write a poem. 
Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might have happened to whoever likes your phone the most. Okay, got one. Adrian? Okay. Thomas. There you go. Uh, shiny. Ah, oh, crap. Um, let's see. Ah. Infinite? Wait, what? Wait, you love infinite? Alright, sunny. Okay. Uh, joy. Sugar. Uh, oh, no. Oh, crap. Um, cheese. What? You love cheese? You love sandy cheese? Why do you love sandy cheese that much? Nah, I'm joking. It's not about sandy cheese. Sparkle. Okay, there we go. Cheer. Calm. Oh, no. Fantasy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. You look and forgive. Wait, you look forgive? What? Alright, bliss. Peaceful. Smile. And flower. Oh, alright, one more. And melody. What, you love metal? Hold on, Natsuki loves melody? I don't know. What? Oh, I didn't see that. Well. Well, I'm gonna end it here, so... So yeah, like and subscribe, hit the notification, and we'll play again. Hold on. Okay, there we go. And with that being said, see you later.